I'm actually going on a haunted tour. It's the house we were just at. So we're leaving the halfway house. And well, that's where we came from. Like I said, it is getting darker. And I just hope the stories get even more interesting. Okay, that's another house. And now, now that is the house that we're going to. All right, finally we have a house. So, let's see what this house has to offer. All right. Last man shuts the door. Okay, it's not. It's not really a house, right? And this is actually a church. This isn't a house, so I mean, yeah, this is actually a church. It belonged to the Strong family, Daniel Strong and Elizabeth Fisher, and. Uh, Alright, now you're walking to a graveyard. Um, that's the church. And she said, at, on the, right there, there's a, there's a graveyard where Michael is buried. If you remember, if you're following the story, Michael was the 17 year old kid in the first house, the red house, who, who died and who haunts that place. He's, he's, he's buried here. And sometimes the the ghost of Michael haunts this place so that's the church and it has started raining while drizzling so all right so that is the next house that we are going to be entering that was the church it was alright um, and that is another house and as you can see it is getting dark so hopefully we find something over here right last person and this is probably a study so this is the house of William Jenkins that's what is haunting this house All right, so let's have a look around. Okay. As per the guide, this is the creepiest house of all. Okay. Okay. It's a fairly small place. Write my name right here. Oh my God. I probably should not write my name. So, wow. The stairway we're not allowed to go that is the bedroom and I am the only person in this house right now all right again I'm close the door bye mr. William wow it sure was creepy this house was creepy yeah all right so this is the last house we are going to enter and let's see what 
we find inside this one. So far, it's been really good. That's the Berwick House of 1844. That's right. Now this house is haunted by a lady. They don't know her name, but she had lost her child who died. And ever since then, they could hear noises of uh, Baby's crying, a cradle rocking, and a little children being a little sensitive to this place. Now, now it is recommended that we go upstairs. So we're gonna go upstairs to see what this is all about. Right at. Whose picture is that? Looks like a little girl. Now that is the cradle. They say they could hear this rocking. And a lot of interpreters have, or tour guides rather, have heard this. That's what she said. That is a doll. And I hate dolls. I just hate them. Wow, that's that's the picture again. Every house seems to have some kind of a fireplace. So, hmm. Wow. For a moment, I thought I heard something. No. Oh, we did see this room before. I wonder what's inside there. No, that's just an empty space. All right. They say someone, a tour guide, did see a woman on that sofa in one of the doors. Well. That's what we've been told. And again, like everyone, I am. Sorry, I'll get in. I'm the last one who closes the house. Again, this was the the Berwick house. That's the last house on this door. And yes, this was the most creepiest house of all. All right, uh, that concludes our tour. And yeah, it's pretty interesting. And now I need to find my way back home and exit the Pioneer Village. The Black Creek Pioneer Village. Oh yeah, I hope you guys liked it. I'm gonna put a link in the description for anyone who wants to try this out. I would highly recommend it. It was a good tour. They have other tours as well. But this one was good. It was a good start. And uh, I'm really glad I did this. So until next time, see you around and take care.